Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. At Power BI World, we love to create various dashboards and this time we have created a call center dashboard within Power BI to explore the data of a call center voice process. So before we start checking out the numbers, uh, Power BI World T would like to inform you that the data set that has been used in this Power BI report is a dummy data set and it's not related to any of the company's data. Okay, so we have created this dashboard. This is the dummy data set that we have prepared in Excel file, and this is that these numbers have been populated. Okay, so now let's check out some metrics in the Power BI call center dashboard. So this dashboard gives us the details of a call center voice process, wherein how many calls were offered, number of calls that were answered, and how many calls were answered in 20 seconds. It is the voice call center is having the SLAs for them, like how many calls needs to be answered in a particular time. So we have taken a 20 seconds, 20 second, 80 second SLA, like that is 80% calls to be answered in 20 seconds. Okay. So this is what it's all about. Then we have shown the abandoned percentage. If we select any of the year, the numbers would change as per the year selected. Okay. As you see. Uh, we have also given a comparison of total offered calls versus answered by month so each month how many calls were offered uh, what was the answer percentage or what was the answered calls apart from that we have given the total call offered versus abandoned so like if there was a call offered of 100 calls and out of that 100 calls 20 calls were abandoned so this is what we have given it here we have given the sla percentage okay uh, what is the sla for that particular year is will you will get the details like an yearly sla okay apart from that we have also given answer versus answer in 20 seconds so how many calls were answered and how many calls were answered in 20 seconds so this is the uh, visualization that we have created into the voice dashboard but apart from this we have added a metrics which is your ast if i click to the AHT tab, it will take us to a new page wherein we will get the details of the AHT by month, what was the AHT trend month on month and once I select the year, it will give me the AHT trend for that particular year. Apart from this, we have given the AHT trend by department, so which department is contributing to the lowest AHT, okay. So this has been sorted into the ascending order, the lowest AHT first going to the largest one so which are the department which has contributed to the highest stage ASD again same total num total answer calls what was the ASD for that particular answer calls and what was the SLA percentage we have also given a matrix table wherein you get the department what was the forecast call offered call answered call 20 seconds what was the SLA and what was the ASD Apart from this, we have also given the answer call versus EHT trend by month. So here you will see how many calls in a month were answered and what was the EHT for that particular month once we select the year. Okay. So this is a very simple call center voice dashboard that we have prepared. This is the random data that has been created into an Excel file. So what are you are waiting for? So head across to our channel to learn more about this Power BI World call center dashboard for yourself and discover the key stats. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for our new Power BI dashboard. You can connect with us by clicking on the link below and sharing your details. Our team will connect with you for your requirements. We will also be publishing the step-by-step -step guide to create this call center dashboard in coming future. So hope you like this video. We share this video with your friends on your social media accounts. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.